it's Jade. So as you can see, I'm here today with a vintage inspired hair and makeup tutorial. So I've taken inspiration from 20s and 30s right up through to the 50s, which I know is quite a large span. Um, but, you know, I didn't want to kind of limit myself. I just wanted it to be a vintage inspired look. So the hair is more kind of 20s or 30s inspired with the with the finger waves and pin curls. It's more kind of um, flapper inspired, I guess. Whereas the makeup is more the kind of Marilyn Monroe inspired makeup look. So yeah, I hope you guys find this helpful. Also done a um, vintage like 20s flapper makeup. So I'll put that link in the down bar below if you kind of wanted to do this hairstyle with that makeup for more of a flapper um, look. So yeah, hope you hope, hope you guys like this. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> You will need to start with wet hair. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just doing the front sections of my hair, so I'm sectioning the back out of the way. You want to spray your hair with either a gel or a setting lotion or a sea salt spray. The more product you have in the hair and the wetter your hair is, the easier it's going to be to style. So using a tail comb, what you want to do is start brushing the hair back from the roots. Start to curl it and place your finger there while you brush the rest of the hair towards the hairline. Basically you're creating an S shape in the hair. Hold that section tight with your fingers. You really want to have a good grip on it. So what you want to do is almost pinch that last section in between your fingers and then comb the hair back away from the hairline again. So once again, pinch that section and then comb all the hair towards your hairline. So as I said, you're creating an S shape. So in between, you really want to pinch the hair between your fingers. So it creates that real sharp line. It's going to take a little bit of practice, but as I said, the more product you have in there, the easier it's going to be. You can also use some hair pins or bobby pins to slide in there to hold it in place while you're styling. That will make it a lot easier. Because this hair is more suited for kind of short length hair, if you've got longer hair like mine, just pin up the excess from your pin curl and secure it with a bobby pin. So onto the next side, spray as much of this product in there as you can. So once again, start combing it away from your hairline. Hold it and pinch it between your fingers while you comb the hair back from your hairline. You can use a bobby pin, as I said, to secure it while you're styling. So continue the same method all the way throughout your hair. So for this makeup, I've taken inspiration from Marilyn Monroe. She always had a beautiful shiny glow to her skin. So make sure your skin is well moisturized before applying your foundation. I'm using a sheer light reflecting foundation today because I don't want to cover my skin. I want my skin to show through and I want it to look glowing and beautiful. I'm not applying it all over my face. I'm just applying it where it's needed and going in with a highlighter as well just to brighten up under my eye area. I'm finishing off with a powder just to set the look and get rid of any kind of shininess on the skin. But don't over powder, you still want the dewiness to come through. So now fill in your eyebrows. I've got a tutorial on how I do my brows. The link will be in the down bar. So start with a matte white eyeshadow and apply this as a wash all over your eyes. Next, I'm taking a shimmering white shadow and just applying this near the inner tear ducts to make your eyes appear wider set and a lot bigger and brighter. Moving on to a soft matte shadow and just apply this on the outer portion of your crease. This is going to make your eyes appear a little bit deeper and give them some more shape. So I'm starting off with a brown eyeliner pencil and just tracing out my design, giving it a very soft wing in the outer portions of my eyes and keeping it more slim towards my tear duct. Next, apply your false lashes. And again, I've got a tutorial for this. The link will be in the down bar. So now I'm going over um, the brown pencil with a black liquid liner just to make it more defined. If you want a softer look, just stick with the brown pencil. Apply your favorite mascara. 
Next, taking the brown eyeliner pencil once again, I'm drawing a very faint line along my lower lashes. This is going to give the illusion that your eyelashes are so full and thick that they're casting a shadow. Accentuating it by adding some white liner in between and also having the white liner on your waterline and also near your tear ducts to make your eyes appear a lot bigger. Keeping the blush to a minimum, basically just giving my face a little bit of contouring. So now onto the lips. First, you will need to line your entire lips and also fill them in. Marilyn Monroe actually wore three coats of lipstick to really make her lips appear a lot fuller and a lot bigger than what they naturally were. So this is what we're going to be doing today. Apply three coats of lipsticks. You can swap the colors if you like to give more of an illusion to your lips. Make sure you blot in between each layer. So here's the finished makeup look. So to finish off the hair, if it's still damp, just take a blow dryer on a low setting and hold your hair while you dry off any excess wetness in your hair. Once it's dry, you can remove the bobby pins and finish any styling if needed. Don't forget to pack it with hairspray. So thank you all so much for watching. Please show your support to me and to my channel by rating, commenting and subscribing. I love you all and I'll see you guys very soon. Oh, 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 oh,